<laughs> Never mind. Question. Next question. Uh, <laughs> hey guys, you know me. These this video is gonna be long. Wait, this is my channel. I don't even know why I'm warning them. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah. Just be yourself. Own yeah. your personality. God damn. <laughs> So the first question that I chose comes from Monacy. Oh yeah, Monoisy on YouTube. And she asked, <laughs> how do you find your personality? And tell me how to make friends. That'd be great. <laughs> um, well, eBay is a great place to find personalities and also really awesome shirts. Yeah, that's where I buy everything. Yeah, I love eBay. eBay Bay. eBay. That's what I always say. <laughs> hey, baby. <bay. laughs> um, but honestly. Everything slowly shapes you. Cause like sometimes you feel like you're in like a weird zone of your life and then you kind of come out of it and change into it. I don't know. I like, mean, you don't really have to search for your personality. You kind of have one, mm -hmm. like, and that is your personality. Mm -hmm. Embrace your uniqueness. Shoot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Well, <laughs> and tell me how to make friends. That'd be great. How to make friends. Well, be yourself you're not yeah. gonna find friends that are your friends are your real friends unless you are true to who you are like if you're weird and like me like you gotta be you gotta embrace it like if you fart a lot and you're and you find friends that like don't appreciate that then they're not then worth it it's not gonna work like it's obviously not gonna work because if you rip one and then you have to like place the blame on someone else they're not gonna <laughs> feel that own it own your fart, own your personality, own your friends. Put them on a leash. <laughs> don't do that. Don't, that don't, be, don't You already got it, girlfriend. You are who you are. Embrace it. You're unique. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. That's solid. Yeah. That's good enough. That, that does it for me. All right. <laughs> I write music 12 as... I write, oh, yeah, I write. I wonder mm -hmm. if they really... Are you John Mayer? Who are you? <laughs> um, this is long. This is deep. Damn. All right. How do you handle self-hatred? I'm in the closet and attending a Christian university after spending preschool through high school and Christian schools. God <laughs> is an awesome God. He, he reigns from, from heaven above. above. Mm -hmm. There's a life in something, something. We're being I'm glad gay I made something accepted. really serious, really not. Okay. So we're being gay is not accepted. Nor would my parents ever continue supporting me if I ever did come out. I don't want to be this way, but I can't change it. So I was wondering if Courtney's therapist knew of any ways to deal with self-hatred and self-worth. I mean, first of all, find someone that you can talk to, like a therapist, preferably not a Christian therapist. Um, and there are a lot of churches that accept being gay. And I know that parents are really hard to talk to because a lot of them are very stuck in their ways and it sounds like yours might fall into that type of, I guess, religious choice and just their way of being. But if you have someone that you can talk with and you can find a church that accepts everybody for who they are, right? Because isn't that what God's supposed to be about? Like a agape love, loving everybody no matter what you're like or what you prefer. Um, and you can find a community that accepts you. And that's, I mean, I've, I have a couple clients who've had similar situations and that really helped them. So I don't know if you're in a city, hopefully somewhat of a city and you can find, I know that we have a ton in LA, um, a church that accepts you for who you are. It, wait. Christian wait, university. They're in, yeah, they're in university. Girlfriend, they're an adult now. Like, you can be... Be I who you want to be. Yeah. I feel like I have to, like, Jazz twerk it or something. Like, this is... I don't know. How long are you going to wait, like, your entire life to, like, not live and not love? Yeah. What's the best brand of toilet paper? I'm Charmin from... all the way. Charmin? Mm -hmm. Oh, is that with the Ult bears? Ultra strong. Oh, see, I can't <laughs> myself. I usually use, you know, the coffee bean or Starbucks napkins. Coffee bean's a little <laughs> bit softer. Is that their? Is that their I, but I like soft. Yeah, like, I like soft um, too. like not like a sweatshirt. Like <laughs> I would wipe with a tempur pedic mattress. <laughs> and that wouldn't be very fresh. What? Wait, was that Charmin so, in there? Mm -hmm. Oh, I should have taken some. <laughs> Just like bunched up a bunch and put it in, stuffed it. And you're like, ooh, she got big, big titties. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, Charmin probably. What, yeah, what's your favorite Report brand? Back. <laughs> Let us know what's the best on your tush tush. <laughs> Stephanie Taylor asks, I've just been watching what I eat and exercising, but how would you recommend approaching diet and exercise in a healthy way? 
I'm going to take precautions in approaching a healthier lifestyle. You want me to answer this one? Or you want to answer it? Tag team. Okay. You go. Everything in moderation. And that's what I was going to say. <laughs> I was literally going to say that. I was going to say moderation is key. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. that's why I fail because I'm an extremist and I'm like black or white thinking over here. I don't say the gray. I feel yeah. like you should see the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. Taste feel the, the rainbow. rainbow. No black um, and white, all rainbow. Yeah, all <laughs> rainbow. But honestly, everything in moderation, if you find yourself like completely starting to like exclude like certain food groups mm -hmm. or like just exercising every single day, that well you've already got a problem yeah I think I always tell my clients if you find yourself trying to avoid situations because of diet or exercise like oh I can't hang out with my girlfriends because I didn't get to run this morning I'm gonna have to run I'm gonna be late to see them Meh. that's bad. oh wow sounds like my life oh no. <laughs> but yeah I mean you need to find a happy medium like if you want to and enjoy if you like pizza and you want to enjoy a slice of pizza Eat that pizza. Eat that damn pizza. Mm -hmm. you, you get yourself some pizza. Yeah. And there's a lot of great apps out there. But then again, I used an app in college and that kind of got me to go overboard a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so I'll end it on this one. Yeah. When, when How do we end it? We just stop. How do I end my videos? I usually just get awkward. But thanks for watching. <laughs>